All right, thank you, Bill. Uh, next up is me. I will be covering tool availability in Blackboard Learn courses. And tool availability in Blackboard Learn courses. What is tool availability? Basically, it's a way of turning on uh, different parts, turning on or off uh, different parts of your uh, uh, the Blackboard Learn system within your course. Uh, things like the achievements building block, uh, adaptive release, though I don't know why you would ever want to turn that off, uh, and various other things as well as uh, uh, publisher tools and, and such. Uh, you'll see that there is stuff with Blackboard Collaborate, for instance, that you could uh, turn off if you don't want to use the Collaborate course room. You can turn that off, off just for your course. Uh, and why would you want to do it? Well, here's uh, uh, the tools list as it comes default. You'll see there's a ton of stuff here that you may or may not uh, use. If you want to clean this up a bit so that it's easier to uh, navigate the uh, tools section of uh, when you're adding uh, uh, things to your course doc, course uh, contents area. You can certainly turn some of these things off if you're not using an MBC Learn, or uh, perhaps uh, you're not going to be using Blackboard Collaborate, Voiceboard, et cetera. You can turn those things off using tool availability. And to get to tool availability, you go to, uh, under your control panel, customization, and then click tool availability, and you're given this screen here. Then you'll see that some of them have uh, uh, boxes you can check or uncheck under the available column or in the available and content area uh, column, mostly uh, published tools and such, uh, you're going to have, uh, you're going to change things based on this. And uh, then you'll also see that some of them have multiple entries to have uh, controllability under just general availability and availability under available and course content areas. So there is also another way of doing it, which I would suggest mostly avoiding this unless you are using the uh, uh, tools page. You'll see by default this is not shown to students uh, in our uh, template under just uh, tools on, on uh, any course page that's created. Uh, you click on tools there and then you can hide the links to some of these. If you are uh, have made this available, you can hide them, but if uh, just know that this does also affect the availability, so you have to check both places, both the tools page and the tool availability under course customization. But otherwise, I would say leave this page alone mostly because it can cause problems. I'm going to demonstrate really quick what this is like. Any questions so far? All right. So here we have the tools page, which I'm going to uh, not change anything in there because I'm not showing this to students. That's, uh, this can be made available if you go here and show link. Uh, by default, it comes hidden. And then here under customization, you go to tool availability. And here you can see all the different tools that we have uh, selectable here. So let's say I want to turn off the Cengage Mind Links and uh, get rid of the Blackboard Collaborate uh, course room and my room. So it's both those are turned off. Let's go back and just leave the course room available. Once I'm done with that, I click Submit. And when I go into Course Documents, Tools, sorry, and the Cengage Mind Links are no longer there. But if I go into uh, something with Blackboard Collaborate, you'll see that there's the uh, course room, but uh, the room for me as an instructor is not there. That's something I turned off. And that's about it. There's nothing on too complicated about this. You can do some filtering if you just want to look at what's available within the course. You can do that, or you can just go to the content type tools. And you'll see those are the ones that you can uh, change their availability in the content area. Or if you want, you can just go back to all tools and it shows everything for you. And that's all for tool availability in Blackboard Learn courses. Any questions?